this is a A horizon bleached and an E horizon indicating this whole horizon gets saturated with water in the peak rainy season, season periodically after a rain event it's event driven, saturates during saturation, uh, saturation it reduces and the water start to flow by interflow down slope in other words two flow paths in this horizon the first is water go in and evapotranspiration take it out and the second flow path is well saturated the water moves down because it moves there are very little if any mottling in it if we go down the profile the, the E horizon turns into a soft plinthic B horizon the soft plinthic B horizon is clearly visible in the mottles here, it's red mottles and a grey matrix and there are a yellow matrix and there are grey mottles lower down in the profile. If we go down this profile, the red mottles are less and the yellow and grey mottles are becoming more and more. This increases to a horizon here that is quite hot but still with some structure in it you can also see some structure left in this soft plinthic B horizon. If we go down the profile here to right at the bottom there's a layer that's saturated with water and the soil is actually waterlogged while it's in the middle of the dry season so this water can only come from rain events three months, four months, five months earlier, implying that it is a long and slow flow path. This flow path is therefore a hill slope hydrological flow path contrary to the pedogenetic flow path up in the E horizon. Thank you.